You say you didn't quite make it to Italy this summer? No worries. With Seth Doan, we're off to a site that's truly an underground sensation. This primeval place of caves carved into the cliffs is a chameleon of sorts in cinema. Standing in is the ancient Holy Land in Passion of the Christ, or the remake of Ben-Hur. And making a modern day cameo as itself in James Bond, No Time to Die. These winding roads, historically without the speeding Aston Martin, snake through the hillside town of Matera in southern Italy's Basilicata region. A good backdrop for even those just pretending to be in the movies as kids. It was a big playground. We felt like Indiana Jones exploring empty caves. Indiana Jones running around through yeah. these little streets. <laughs> Vito Rondanone grew up in what's called the Sassi. Sassi in Italian literally means stones. But here in Matera, by Sassi, we are referring to two ancient neighborhoods of the old town. Their main feature is that behind almost all the buildings, there is a cave. How old is this place? Here are remains of Neolithic villages uh, that date back to more than 6,000 years ago. From that time, man has probably never left this place. UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site in 1993, noting Matera was first inhabited during the Paleolithic period, showing continuous human occupation through several millennia. Why were people digging into the hillsides here? Because the rock is very soft. Rondanone, who's a guide with tours by locals, showed us the simple cave his dad uses to age wine. Salute. Salute and the far more spectacular. Here we are in one of the most fascinating caves of the Sassi. It's a church, it's one of the so-called rock churches. So as you can see, it's completely dug out of the rock. A vast centuries old network of cisterns to collect rain and spring water allowed the city to develop and endure. You can stay in a cave where our ancestors lived thousands of years ago. Those ancestors, however, were not living like this. We tried to restore the original cave dwellings and converted them into hotel rooms. Michele Centonze is a manager at the luxury hotel Sextanzio. This is uh, the executive suite number 13. They offer tourists the chance to glimpse another era. You have to imagine that in the past, it used to be a big house for a family of 10, 12 people with donkeys, animals. This stable turned suite now goes for upwards of $1,500 a night. We try to be as much respectful of the identity of the place as possible. Yet in the 1950s, Matera was having an identity crisis with a reputation for being the shame of Italy. During the country's post-war economic slump, Carlo Levi, a famous writer, detailed the squalid conditions, humans and animals living together in caves. He compared the Sassi to a circle of the Dante's hell, so... A circle of Dante's yeah, hell. Yeah, it's a very strong description, but also thanks to that description, uh, the spotlight on this strange city turned on. A local museum recreates how families lived until Italy's government relocated most of the population to modern homes in the 1950s. For decades, much of the Sassi sat empty. There's still a lot that needs to be developed here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of caves that were abandoned in the 1950s, uh, and they are so expensive to be restored. That's something restaurateur and entrepreneur Michaela Bandini sure knows. It's a unique place to work. It is. It's a unique place to work and then you find these, you know, these crazy surprises. I mean, you like move a brick and you find, you find cisterns. What do you do when you find a cistern and you're renovating a bar or restaurant? The easiest thing is to pretend you actually didn't find a cistern. Because <laughs> Are you really is, telling me that on camera? Because it is so complicated. Bandini, who's South African, fell in love with the man from Matera and then with the town itself. How much has life changed here in the 30 years you've been in Matera? Wow, how much can life change? She's been a part of that, opening the hip bar, Area 8. Salute. Cheers. She invited us for aperitivo, 
Their bartender crafts his own gin and ice. Matera as a city you'll find it on a bucket list of travelers all over the world who really, really want to come here and live the cave experience. You know, sleep in a cave, eat in a cave. Or have a drink in a cave, in your case. Absolutely. These cliffside caves, settlements for millennia, are drawing a new generation of filmmakers, tourists, and business owners, sparking a rebirth while celebrating the past. Now it's incredible how the same reason why the city was labeled as the shame of Italy, now it's the pride. 